Welcome to another episode of Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager in 2018. And uh, since last episode we played two games. First we got a big win away versus Lazio. And then we got a really, really annoying, really annoying loss at home versus Udinese. And that game, it just didn't make sense. First off, we got two injuries during the first half. And those two injuries basically really limited our options to change things around. And uh, looking at statistics and so on, like, I mean, we created more chances than them. They had a few more on target. Looking at the highlights, we were getting more highlights than them. I think we hit the woodwork twice and so on. But that result just doesn't make sense. Definitely doesn't reflect the games, uh, the game at all. And that brings us to a very, very close league table. As you can see, Juve has now overtaken us. They're two points ahead of us. Uh, Juve, though, they beat, uh, let's see, where is it here? They beat Napoli in in their last game, uh, and that of course made uh, Napoli to fall a little bit behind. As you can see now, we have both Fiorentina, Napoli, and Inter, all of them at fifty one points. So it's really, really close here, fighting for the Champions League spots. Um, but yeah, that puts us not in the situation where we wanted to be because we were in a really good situation, and now we have fallen down. Uh, today's episode, though, is not about uh, Serie A; it's about the Champions League. And a huge game uh, against Bayern Munich and I was considering to to play both of these two games in this episode but I decided not to and the reason for that is because the league situation is so close I feel like we, we need to to bring in another league game because if, if uh, I'm going to do both of them in the both uh, in the same episode uh, next uh, the episode of that would be uh, the derby versus Inter and that means we've been playing I mean, the last league game you guys saw was versus Napoli, and it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six league games in a row without an episode while we are in this close situation. So I just felt like we can't go six uh, league games in a row without seeing the league when we are in a I mean, it would have been another thing if, if we were like far ahead or far behind, but we need to, to get a league game. So I'm going to go for that Atlanta game because, I mean, that's a derby for us. And Atlanta is uh, basically in the middle of the table. It's a team that we should be beating. But uh, it's also a derby that we haven't really focused much on in, in this series since usually been very far apart uh, compared to Atlanta. So I think it's a good choice playing the Bayern Munich game, then going for the derby versus Atlanta, then another Bayern Munich game, and then another derby versus Inter. I think, like, yeah, that, that's just, like, good, great games coming up here. Um, but talking about Champions League... We decided that we're not going to do the easy right, uh, the easy right, the easy way, uh, don't we? Because we got a buying in Munich. Can't get much harder than that. Of course, they are topping the German first division. Uh, actually, last season, Dortmund managed to win it. But that was like once in a lifetime. Because look at all other seasons. Buying, 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 buying. Like, they are winning all the time. Look at the league table right now. I mean, the reigning champions, Dortmund, is nowhere to be seen. While well, Bayern Munich has like almost a 10 point lead. So they are a very, very strong team. I mean, look at their plays. Just sort here by, by value. Take a look at their, their like highest value plays. Of course, we have Alaba. Then they have Thiago. Then we have uh, Tolisso. Uh, Eden Hazard. I mean, Hazard, world class player. Sadio Mane, another world class player. Forsberg. Uh, Kimmich. Uh, Renato Sanchez. Uh, Müller. I mean, it's. Uh, there's basically so many world-class players and all of these guys is more or less worth more than my like most worth players so it's going to be interesting and we are starting off against them away so I'm going to go back to my a little bit more defensive mind information a defensive midfielder trying to go for counter-attacking and uh, that's basically it actually we're gonna probably gonna try a little bit more structured here since uh, since we are counter-attacking. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad choice, but uh, let's try it here, see what happens. Uh, Rob Magnolia is back from his injury. Last game was uh, actually the first game we played since that injury, so it was his comeback. Uh, for today, he's on the bench. Um, this game takes place just like two days rest since, uh, since uh, the last game, which means uh, we are rotating heavily. The only two players that are currently starting in this game that, that played the last game was Donnarumma and Emre Can. All other guys is getting rotated. 
Um, but yeah, it's game on. Away versus Bayern Munich. And uh, I'm nervous already, my god. The game has just started, I'm nervous. They are such a good team. Such a good team. Here is Thea Hernandez for the throw in for Emre Can, Cassier. Locatelli, Locatelli. Emre Can, back to Locatelli. Cassier, can we, can we get into the box? Here's Thea Hernandez looking for a cross. It comes here, it's clear by the defense though. And Eden Hazard sets up a counter attack for Lewandowski. We have quite a few players on the right place, but uh, yeah, beautiful day by Soso. Helping with the defense work. Don't play against anything stupid now, guys. I always get nervous when they start passing it around down, down there. Definitely not good for my nerves when they do that. Uh, but we, yeah, we are under pressure here. Martinez for Hazard. Hazard into the box. And oh my god, it's no way that Lewandowski is going to miss a chance like that. And this is very, very, very disappointing. Not at all the start we were wanting. So yeah. I mean, let's go look at the replay. Right now, we have things under control. We have one, two, three guys here in the defensive line. You are working your way back here to take care of him. You should probably go up here. We have three guys here. This looks good, but then three guys, all of them staring at the ball. And, and him too. I mean, we have four guys. He should go attack. He could help. And you guys, one of you should probably take care of him. One you you need to get back. And of course, you need to go back there. But instead, we decide to yes, give Eden Hazard. I mean, it's not like he's a good player. Yeah, really. It's the guy you want to give a good option. And then you, you just leave him alone. I mean, it's Lewandowski. He, he's not a threat. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players trying to hunt on one lonely Eden Hazard. Nobody at all cares about Lewandowski. And yeah. That, that's just a joke. Uh, the only good thing, I said it before, the only good thing with conceding an early goal is that we have a lot of time to set things right, around. Right now, there's not much going on here. If you look at, uh, like, not a single shot. They have the um, possession. It's a corner. If the air picks it up, maybe we can counterattack. So, so. The beautiful cross for Katrona, 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 Katrona. Oh, we really would have needed a goal there. A goal there would have been beautiful. Because we all know that in the Champions League, in the knockout, in knockout rounds, if you can get an away goal, that could more or less be worth its weight in goal. That away goal could be, I mean, crazy, crazy good. Theo with a free kick. Emre Can. Locatelli. For Kessie. Kessie. Sets up Sana. Sana into the box. Katrona. Oh, he... I hit the crossbar! That, oh my god! That away goal! We need it desperately! And then we hit the woodwork and... I mean, I told you last game that we lost with three goals because no, no, I believe we hit the woodwork two or three times. We need to, like, we talk, we're talking about inches here from scoring a goal. We are getting closer and closer to the half-time whistle. I mean, looking at the highlights, look... We are playing pretty well. They have created a few more chances if you look at the statistics. But Johnson feel like they're too far behind. But we're going to go aggressive here. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. They all agree. Let's end the team talk and start the second half. See what happens. It is raining here in uh, München. And of course, we are getting a Bayern Munich highlight. Marti Martinez. Lewandowski. Miller. Well, guys, focus on no stupid mistakes this time. And, I mean, at least we did the right thing there. Lewandowski is very, very good with what he said. But we had two guys put pressure on him. And they couldn't interrupt it, but it was enough to... Uh... Oh, my God. And that was a really bad pass. Really, really, really bad pass. Come on, guys. Martini has picked up a uh, potential injury. Hoping that's good news for us. But I'm fearing it's going to be... Oh, my God. It has started... Why? Oh, why? We were so close to interrupt that one. Take a look at the replay here. Waiting for the good Tassard. So close. Look at that. Oh my god. And then Donnarumma saves the first one. But of course he has no chance on, on the second try from Hazard. That's... And actually looking here at, at the stats. 
The first half, I think, uh, I believe we had three shots and they had four or five. Now in the second half, we haven't created a single thing. Uh, not a single thing. I'm going to give it a few more minutes, but then it's probably time to change things uh, around a bit. Nothing goes on here at all. I mean, this is not a, a nightmare result, because we still have that, uh, that second leg, but we really can't be pleased with this one. Let's take a look here. Ah, so many players are playing bad. So many. I think we should go with Emery Shine because he's really tired. He played the last game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my kind of ish normal formation. Let's bring in Sosa. And then let's go for probably Locatelli. We have some options here, but uh, I think we should go with Locatelli. Bring in uh, Pellegrini. And see what happens. We need to start creating a few chances here. We're not going to crazy out attacking though, because I mean we know that uh, there is a, a second leg coming up. Sadio Mane, Renato Sanchez. Come on, guys! That was a beautiful interception. Really, really good one. His controller, controller breaks through. Uh, not good enough. Pass luck for Bayern Munich instead. Intercepted again, but still in the Bayern Munich possession. Come on, guys. We need to win it back. Sosa. Long cross for Soso. And he's just taking an easy pass there. He's Catrona. He's Calabria. Calabria. Oh, my God. It hit the, it hit the crossbar. So two times in this game. Twice we have hit the crossbar. Come on, guys. We can't be this unlucky with Woodwork two games in a row. It's just devastating. Yes, devastating. And that one goes to nowhere. Paslak picks it up for Bayern Munich. Can we win it back? Come on, guys. Put some pressure on them. Try to win it back. Don't allow them to turn this around on us. We can do it. Focus. Pressure, guys. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Quality. I mean, they are just playing with us right now. Toying with us. Here's Lewandowski. With a pass for Sadio Mane. And Don Roman Ray. But I mean, imagine... I believe they subbed Hazard with Mane. <laughs> Could you imagine a team where you have those options that you start with Eden Hazard and then he be get, becomes tired and you bring in Sadio Mane? That's just that's just crazy. Come on, this highlight has been on for ages now, and that's of course the end of it. Let's see now who is next. Catron is playing like garbage. I mean, Cassie is really, really tired, but we kind of don't have any good options for him. So let's replace Catrone. He's picked up a yellow card also, and let's bring in um, let's bring in Silva. The last ten minutes, still that away goal. You just need one highlight for it to happen. It could be worth so much to us, but we are into extra time, and the clock just keeps on ticking and ticking and ticking. I mean, we hit the woodwork twice. One away goal could have been all we needed, but that's a full-time whistle and we have officially lost the first of two games versus Bayern Munich. Still going to tell them I'm uh, not passionate, aggressive. I'm not happy with the result here. Not at all. I mean, look at these ratings. Sosa was the only one that kind of got an okay rating. Um, so not pleased, especially since we missed those two great chances, hit the woodwork twice. The only good thing I want to bring with this one, and that is if you take a look at our schedule, um, we have lost against big teams before in the Champions League. And that's what I want to, to uh, especially talk about. Because we lost big versus Real Madrid away, then we managed to beat them big at home. And of course last season, if you go to, to the Champions League here, um, let's see what so I'm looking for. I'm looking for the PSG game. Once again, we lost big away, and then we managed to beat them big at home. And if, if I remember things right, we did something similar three seasons ago also, didn't we? Let's see here, if I'm remembering things right. Champions League, nope, not that one. But yeah, we managed to, to we lost big versus Man United, and then we managed to beat them at home. So we know that we are strong at home. We have for quite a few against quite a few big teams in Champions League lost away and then managed to win at home. So this is not game over for us. 
we can turn this around and around. It's not going to be easy, it's definitely not going to be easy. But judging from our history, it's not going to be impossible to beat them at home. I mean, we did it versus Real Madrid, we did it versus, um, versus Man United and, and so on. So the dream is not over, it's going to be very difficult, but I think, I believe, I believe in us, we can do this. But next episode, we are going for the derby versus Atalanta in this extremely close league table. It's going to be a hugely important game to us, not even only because it's a derby, but because the league table looks like uh, it's currently, currently does. Uh, but that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me and I'll see you in the next episode.